Uh, gonna grab the offensive rebound, goes back up strong. Gets the layup. Buries it. And he would throw it down to build on their lead. Too fast break Friday. He goes for three on the wing from deep. Is open in the corner. He hits a three. Hey, hey. Hey everyone and welcome to Fast Break Friday. Hard to believe guys, but it's already week 10 of the high school basketball season. And we have double digit games for oh, you guys yeah. tonight. Plus we'll be presenting our WNEM play of the night and it's a doozy. Yes it is. And it's in that we'll look ahead at three matchups that are finals for next Friday's game of the week. I love it. As you said, Austin, our game of the week is a dandy. So let's get to it. Let's go. Fast Break Friday Game of the Week, sponsored by the Saginaw Career Complex at Saginaw ISD. Two Saginaw squads battling it out. Arthur Hill hosting Heritage, the Hawks. Look at Sharp for the first half. They find Tyler Odie on the wing. His three is through. Then off the steal, check out Odie. Going up strong and flushing it down for the dunk. Powerful move there. The Lumberjacks weren't going anywhere, though. It's Lina Brooks. Look at the Tomahawk with some authority. Heritage, though, would pull away down the stretch. Watch this play. Sophomore Jalen Cooper with the steal, and then look out! Ooh. Poster dunk on the other end. What a play as the Hawks take down Arthur Hill tonight, 84 57. Now to another fantastic matchup tonight Grand Blank traveling to take on Davison. The Cardinals are 9 and 3 heading into this one. The Bobcats are 5 and 5. Davison started this one off with some fireworks as a Marion Blathan. Slams it down and opening up the scoring. Graham Blinks, Bryce Omara gets open, uses the paint, is a nice ball fake here and draws a foul and count it and one. The Cardinals look to drive here, but Omara says not today as he gets the rejection. Then Davison here with some great ball movement as they find Blake open from three and it is money. The Cardinals win 66 to 57. Now let's transition to a rivalry, and it's a good one. It's the M81 clash as Cass City facing off with Carroll. The Red Hawks were 14-0 heading into this game, looking to stay undefeated. Second, ha second half, and Logan McGarry driving in for Carroll. Tough shot through the defense, but he gets it to go for the Tigers. He had a team-high 24 points. Now Cass City with the ball. Matt Mellendorf goes up, gets fouled, and gets the bucket and one. He had 13 points, eight in the second half. Carroll not going away, though. Valiant Bruniak. With a look from beyond the arc, that knocks down the big time three pointer. He had 10 points, but Carroll could not stop this man. Carter Patrick for a three of his own. Money, 39 points for the Red Hawks. The M81 trophy staying in Cass City as the Red Hawks win it 62 to 60. Now let's zone in on girls basketball. Bertrand welcomes Garber to town. The Panthers' Ayana Willis is left all alone from downtown, and she makes them pay as she puts in the three. The news defense would answer. Ella Betzel gets the steal, and she would find Audrey Ball on the other side for the lay-in. Then seconds left in the half. Betzel looks to make a play herself as she drives in the paint and puts up the layup, and it drops as Garber wins 63-26. to Sticking with girls hoops, Ithaca traveling to take on Valley Lutheran with a win. The Chargers would have a winning record this season. Valley Lutheran going to find Olivia Parker. Her one dribble pull up is pure from mid range. And of course, student section loving that one. The Yellow Jackets respond. Look at the passing by Libby Maurer. She finds Emma Polash inside. She finishes the play. Ithaca would keep rolling. Ivy Davenport taking it herself, lays it up and lays it in. The Yellow Jackets get the win 50 to 35. Freeland is 12 and 2 this season. The Falcons taking on Bridgeport tonight. The Falcons flock to the ball and it pops up court to Jocelyn Bijik, who lets the defense go by her right here and gets the easy two. Freeland then moves the ball around, allowing Jenna Kowalski to get open as she drains the short range jumper. The Falcons defense continues to step up as Carrie Kiefer gets the steal and takes it all the way to the rim for the bucket. Freeland goes on to win it 59 to 10. 
10 and 2, Frankenmuth hosting Swan Valley tonight as we pick things up in the first quarter. Dakota Thompson going to find Maddie Shaw inside. Easy two pointer there. Great passing from Muth. Swan Valley with possession now. The Vikings are going to give it to Mackenzie Morgan from long range, and that's a high three pointer that falls through for Morgan. The Eagles, though, would start to really turn it up. Claire Konzelman in the corner from long range drains the triple right there for the Eagles. And here comes Mia McLaughlin. She's going to pull up with a nice little floater from the inside. Side. The senior makes it look easy. Frankenmuth gets the win 60 to 14. Our last girls basketball stop of the night. Davison hosting Grand Blank. The Bobcats showing off their defense here. Poker the ball away, and then Chelsea Bishop has a clear lane to the basket. She puts it in. The Cardinals hanging tough, though. Lila Pearson going to get open for the mid, uh, mid range jumper there. She drills it. Davison on the fast break this time. It's Darby Crystal going to let it fly from mid range. She connects, but Grand Blank proved to be too much. Check out the moves by Jordan Eichelberger as she gets open from the baseline, gets it to go. Bobcats get the win 67 to 40.